Thank you, Laura, and thank you, Sharon, for coming over today and helping a lot of immigrants today, along with many Canadians who have a lot of questions regarding RESP. So my question to you, Sharon, is uh, what is RESP? Yeah, so RESP is a Registered Education Saving Plan. It's investment for children's education. So in this plan, we can, as being a parents or even being an uh, aunt or uncle and grandparents can invest for their children's education when they start to school, uh, when they start university after grade 12, because until grade 12, we don't pay for any tuition. Yeah and that plan can stay up to 35 years. They can open I invest money in RESP. What does the government do? Oh. So the government pay uh, whatever you guys pay. Let's say you pay 20% uh, of your investment in a year and it can be maximum up to $7,200 <coughs> per child for okay. full, full time. Okay. You invest like uh, if you invest $1,000 per year, you'll get, the government will invest 20% of it. So $200? $200. Okay. That's yeah. That's so good. it can go up to maximum $1,000 per year. So don't lose the grant. So it's always best to invest on the first year of your children's birth. Oh. So that way you're like, I, like my child is 18 years old. He backs out. No, I, I'm not going to school right now. And but he, at the age of 30, he realizes I want to go to school now. He can use that money. Oh, absolutely. In fact, there's a number of different options available. You can transfer the plan to another child. Okay. Um, you can give that student a specific period of time. So maybe they're 18 and they're not quite sure what they are going to do. A most common thing that we see today is that students are waiting to hear if they've been accepted into a program. It's very yes. competitive nowadays. So sometimes they may not make it in one year, but they'll make it in for the next year. Okay. So what we do is we can defer it for that time. Case scenario. If they end up not doing anything anywhere on the planet, I mean, you do have to wait until they're 21 years old minimum, okay. Okay. and you have to be in the RESP at least 10 years. Those are the okay. two main rules. Okay. Um, then you can roll it into a registered retirement savings plan for yourself, okay. up to $50,000 per parent if you okay. have the room in your RRSP. Okay. Or you can do what's called an accumulated income payment. The acronym is AIP, and that is where you just take the money out uh -huh. and you just pay an extra 20% surtax and uh, go shopping. Okay. So Sharon, what do you need to set up an RESP? Oh, to set an RESP, you just need a social insurance number. Okay. Yours and your shake social insurance number and your children's. Now, I have my social insurance number. My husband has a social insurance number. But my child might not have a social insurance number. Then what? Can we register RESP for him or her? Do it is the child has to be a resident of Canada. Okay. So we do require a social insurance number for a child. Karen and uh, Laura, you guys have answered most of your questions, but I will be doing a rapid fire round, and these questions I haven't disclosed, and I'm gonna ask start asking now. Number of RESPs I can have. One, one child. Okay. Period that an RESP can stay open? Up to 35 years. Up to 35 years. This one is for Laura. Two RESP mistakes parents make? Oh, wow. I would say uh, missing out on the grant. Okay. That's probably number one. They mm -hmm. get their kids are older and they're like, oh my god, we're not getting all the grant. Okay. So that's a big mistake. Um, and another one is. Um, Quite, quite, quite time. I know it's rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing terribly. <laughs> uh, I'm not you know up what? Here. I the biggest complaint I I have after 30 years is we wish we had saved more. Oh, okay. Know, that is probably the number one uh, bear uh, bear bear none. That would be number one. Oh, okay. we, we, we wish we had saved more money. Okay. Is our ESP tax deductible? No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. The toughest question. Full form of RESP. Just <laughs> <laughs> education saving plan. Okay, she has passed the test. Laura, you have passed the test. <laughs> thank you, Sharon, and thank you, Laura, for coming over. You guys passed the test. Always contact Sharon if you have more questions. Her number is, I've written it down 902 403 7521. Thank you, guys. Bye.